Oh, God. Yeah. I have a hangover today. Oh, I forgot this part, too. Okay. That was in there. Screenshot. I already drank my Alka-Seltzer hangover relief. I was, I'm was, i having to do this recording all over again. Because my cell phone is out of storage and it cut me off. Like right in the middle of a rant. Oh. Hey, man. Hey. Little heat. So, like I was saying, before I got cut off on my phone. Alright, so we went way over. I'm a dumbass. I don't know why I did that. Dummy. There's no excuse. I'm an alcoholic. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. I have a headache, probably because I drank this. And this. Probably what gave me the headache. This is a double. So I'm like three over today. Oops, so oh well. We'll pick it up later. So uh, I got 110 days, no boost. <sighs> yeah, yummy. Um, well, I was on a rant and I got cut off on my phone, so I had to redo it. So, like, uh, what I was trying to say is today would have been one of them days where, like, boost would have really come in handy, you know, because I'm hungover, tired, <clears throat> I have to go to work in a little while. And uh, that got me to thinking, um, you know, what got me, real, what happened how I got hooked on boost was, um, work, you know, getting, getting hung over, drinking, having to go to work, dreading it, you know, and that boost, that's what boost is made for is fucking hangovers, really. And, uh, I remember I had boost on standby. This is before I really ever got hooked on it. Up to that point, I just used it for hangovers and then, um, you know, I just slept it off, you know, or I didn't even need to take it. I just had it there in case I happened to have a hangover and I had to go to work, you know, and I remember vividly uh, a long time ago, seven years ago or something, eight years ago, maybe even longer, maybe 10, um, I was drinking all night and, you know, I only had like couple hours sleep and I was hung over had to go to work and I had the little bit of boost there and I was like you know what I'm gonna take it get through work took the stuff no more hangover had the opposite had like energy you know and I didn't I was kind of ignorant back then um it really like because I really didn't use it a lot it was just like occasionally like, like partying you know but Never really like I was hooked on it. And then, uh, so I took it to get through my day at work. And, um, you know, and, but I, it was I, it was on like a Monday or something. And I had a whole work week ahead of me. And um, so I took it to get through the work because I was hungover. And then like I couldn't go back to sleep. So I didn't get no sleep. And I had to go to work again. So I took more, 
and I had to work again. So, you know, I didn't have time to burn out and crash and come down. So I took more and it just kept snowballing and snowballing. And next thing you know, because I didn't, I couldn't take time off to, cause it takes a few days to come off the shit when you've been on it for a few days. Well, however many days you've been on it, it takes probably that long to come off of it. It may be even longer. So I didn't have a chance to come off of it because I had to work, you know? And, um, you know, I just, uh, got to the point where I needed to get, I needed it to get through my day, you know, and that happened pretty quick within a week. I, it turned into that. And, um, next thing you know, months go by still doing it next thing you know year goes by still doing it where I was making the mistake was when I anytime I like had some t significant time off like you know maybe like a four day weekend or something or three day weekend I wasn't using that time to come off of it and that's where I, I kept going through the weekend, you know, like stayed on it because coming down off that stuff, that's not, it's not pleasant. It isn't. So I didn't man up and come down off of it. I just kept going with it and going with it. And next thing you know, a couple of years have gone by and I'm still going like, you know, doing it, using it. I was addicted to it. I needed it to get you my day because I wasn't taking the time off to crash, to come off of it. And uh, so off and on, off and on for shit. A couple of few years, I was taking it like full time, you know, and uh, not not coming off of it, not crashing. And so that went on for a couple of years. I mean, off and on, yeah. I would have, I'd come, you know, I'd go in like streaks of like a couple of years and I'd, I'd crash. If I had the opportunity, but this last one, it was almost, it was over two and a half years and I, and I just didn't have a chance to crash. You know, I didn't take, didn't take any time off. And, um, I was burned out, man, on the shit. I was burned out on it. It got to a point where I just couldn't physically take it anymore. And emotionally, I couldn't take it anymore. So I decided, you know, on a weekend, on a two-day weekend, on my Friday, I said, okay, I'm just going to sleep for the next two days, like my whole entire weekend. I'm just going to come off this shit, stop, because I just cannot do it no more. And I did. I just stopped. And then that's when the blog started. The super duper cringy fucking blogs, man. And uh, so the point that I was trying to make is like work it has a lot to do with me getting hooked on that shit because I alcohol and work are the reason why I got hooked on that shit because I used this shit to get through work because of fucking hangovers. And uh, I was reflecting on that yesterday. Go, oh, man, how did I get hooked on that shit? And that's how I got hooked on it. That's Those were the two main components that got me to the point where I was taking it. You know, drinking and working. I don't drink at work. I'm just saying it helped. I used it to get through work because I had hangover. And then I didn't have, like, I just didn't have the... Uh, you know, the, 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 the drive to get off of it, to go through the, the come down, you know. And then there, one thing leads to another, snowballs into a couple of years, and, you know, there you go. You're fucking strung out on the shit. Fortunately for me, these days, or wherever I was getting it from, it was, uh, not very good stuff it wasn't very good like back in the day man only a little bit man you'd, you'd be zinging for days 
But the stuff nowadays is so weak that you have to do it like every four couple four hours, you know, because it's so weak and stepped on, you know. So I got a hundred ten days, no boost. And I'm so glad about it. Even though like today would have been a really good day to have some because I'm hungover. But I'm never gonna go want I'm never gonna go through that bullshit again. I'm over it. I don't care. I'll i I'll just deal with the hangover. Just deal with it. Pay you play, you pay. And I'm gonna pay. So man up, fucking pay. I get to suffer all day because of my own doings. So, you know, man, I'm manning up. I'm doing it. I'm going to push through it. I'll be fine. And then I won't have to deal with the big come down. You know, the, the whole big come down bullshit. Fucking it sucked. It took me like two weeks to fucking go through that bullshit. Then that, you know, that's a, I'm still having issues, you know, like, from it 110 days later. I, I know I'm still having issues from like right now a pop would just take me that fucking hangover be gone. And then you that that's how you start. The hell with that noise. I'll take the hangover. It only lasts one day. You come down off that shit lasts for weeks. So do the math on that. And the come down is way worse than having a hangover. I'll take another um, Alka Seltzer hangover relief here in a little while. And my hangover will pretty much be gone. At least my headache will be gone. Because that shit fucking works, man. So, I'm three over on my beers. I fucked up. It's all good, though. It's my fault. So, anyways, that was my rant. I just wanted to get that out there because I was thinking about that yesterday. You know, how did I get hooked on this shit? That's how I got hooked on it, man. Those were the components that led to me getting hooked on Boost. Okay? So, thank you for your continued support. I'm going to go to work and, and fucking puke all over my coworkers. That would be funny. Just kidding, though. Man, look at my leg. Holy crap, dude. Got some muscles going there, guy. Well, that bike riding I was doing while I was on boost. It kind of sticks with you. No, I ride bikes at work also. So I'm kind of maintaining my, my legs, maintaining my muscles. The only thing I'm not maintaining is my little nine-month-old brown baby here that I'm about ready to go give birth to here in a minute. And then I'll be uh, six months pregnant after that. Yeah. All right. Y'all have a good day. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Thank you.